my screen only. <clears throat> okay, how do I recognize evil and how do I protect myself from evil? And, uh, and, 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 and also the thing of like having, bl I, I, I took it as blind spots, blind spots in my consciousness for things that are gonna come up or temptations. Um, evil, I mean, the, the thing of while I'm still not one with God, i.e. in the holy instant beyond form, beyond me being in my body and my thoughts, um, uh, uh, then I will be, there will be levels of temptation, depending where I am, from the gross temptations uh, to the subtle, very subtle temptations to sell out the infinite. Um, and uh, classically speaking, they're, they're characterized as the seven deadly sins. Um, evil as in other, um, other entities, um, the thing with that is, uh, yes, so I'm not a body. But, uh, I mean, I'm just hooked into a body. I'm identified like lots of people have outer body experiences or go have near death like I did. So we realize we're not the physical body, even though uh, if you, you could say the soul can get hooked, the individuated soul can get hooked into the physical body for a period in this incarnation. So, um, so what happens is then um, influenced by um, shall we say negative entities in bodies or out of body so in absolute truth there is no separation and there's no me and other entity but while you're still an entity i .e. you think you're a body in your thoughts experience fear the future the past then one is subject to possible attack from people in bodies you know like an axe murderer or or, or um some kind of uh, ba uh, strange guru or something, or um, that would be luciferic. The gurus are usually luciferic. The um, satanic are usually like uh, cutting and uh, torturing people. So that would be distinguished both the luciferic, which try and luciferic energies in body and out of body, their main thing is deception. So Adolf Hitler would be a good thing, you know, for the fatherland. Uh, let's go and uh, take over this for the highest good. So that's deception or luciferic. So luciferic energies can uh, offer temptation both in body and out of body, especially when people take alcohol, drugs, or get spiritually disconnected through the temptations. They now become eligible because their level of consciousness, their connection to the infinite is so weak now that it's very, very easy also for out of body uh, um, entities or um, to, to influence. So hence you hear the serial murderers saying, uh, I heard a voice say, um, uh, f f in, you know, um, in God's name, it's good to kill these people. And I just heard this voice and I was sure it was me, or I was sure it was a, a holy voice and I just did it. It wasn't me. And basically their spiritual connection to the infinite love is so weak that these now outer body uh, entities can either sometimes even take over if their the consciousness is now so weak and just order it around as if it was their own body uh, and sort of heinous crimes. So there's that aspect. And there's also, I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, people often get scared of things out of body like demonic entities and, and things like that, but there can also be people in bodies. I mean, just as, uh, you know, someone can come in and say, um, Demonic would be probably joining the maf mafia is a good example. So um, the, ma the mafia is just like the angelic realms. If you want to get to the highest levels of the mafia, the mafia, which would probably correspond to hell and the entities out of body, it's like, well, if you really want to get to the top, you know, you need to be killing a few people, innocent people. <laughs> you, get, you get to level one, you know. If you can only like uh, torture people, you're only going to get to level two. So the, the worse the crimes, the less love you can have, um, the more you get promoted, both in body and out of body, in these organizations which run on, and you could say anti-love. So how do you protect yourself? And how, what about blind, I think blind spots and thing. I mean, Hawkins, I think, is one of the best teachers if you seek enlightenment. His works, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, I highly recommend his book, available at veritaspub.com, his website. Or, um, or if you want enlightenment, all of his works and video recordings on the traps of enlightenment. So uh, to get all the way up, not just the gross levels, like we all know the seven deadly temptations, um, 
Now, the way, you know, I, I come from an addiction background. So um, lust, uh, gluttony uh, uh, are big, big ones for me uh, from my addictive days. So if you come from an addictive background, i.e. you've been heavily in ego, there's going to be lots and lots of blind spots. Uh, joining 12-step groups uh, around the things, they have 12-step groups for lust or for food, gluttony, uh, for um, uh, addiction, uh, uh, dependency issues with human beings. So those are very, very good for very strong levels of, of, um, of um, ego inflation. Um, and they will help guard you against the temptations, particularly the ones you're blind against. So if you're in a food program, if food, it could be like this once for food, alcohol, for sex, for dependency issues, whatever. So just being in those energy fields, because everyone is working on like not eating too many donuts or not, uh, you know, uh, being too lustful in those groups, they provide a divine protection. You know, everyone's talking about it, everyone's praying around it, and they, it gives you a level of immunity. And if you go to the groups regularly, uh, lots of divine help comes your way to protect you from the gluttony or from the lust or from the drugs or the alcohol. So they're very, very good if you're, especially if you're down at the suicidal levels, those 12 step groups. So just that's box. Oh, you, you feel like you want to kill yourself in a 12 step. That's, that's normal. Just come and join the crowd. So it's not a problem. And they heavily defend you. Those just being in those groups, as people know, who suddenly leave those groups, the, um, the negative thoughts and, uh, Energies from within your ego and, and influences from without tend to pull you down quite easily with blind spots. Um, for the, um, I think that was the thing, uh, the, you know, um, I mean, one of the best antidotes is to be continually working on what you suspect. Everyone can probably find out what their area is, like mine would be lust and gluttony. Uh, so it's like to, to, to be, to have the humility that those are my areas and that I need to continually uh, pray and work so that those do not become, and my level of consciousness, my connection to the infinite does not become too weak. Because if you've got a weakness in you, uh, whether it's for too many donuts, whether it's for women or whatever it is, then when you get weak, your spiritual connection to the infinite love gets weak those things will habitually start, you'll start to think, well, I want a donut, I want a new girlfriend or whatever it is. So they, they come in where you're weak, obviously. They're not going to come in where you're strong. You know, it's like um, one way, to, I mean, I was reflecting on it, actually, the, um, the, the seven deadly sins, you know, it's like, uh, what would you sell out the infinite love of God for? You know, for a donut, for a partner, uh, for money, for success? Uh, what what's the price to sell it out? Uh, you can expect that, especially when you're weak, the temptations will come left and right, because uh, it's like the ego. Lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles says, some of them are my personal thoughts and some of them come from the collective. Hence the idea of evil and Luciferic energies. It's like my own ego will collude with the collective ego in body and out of body to pull me down from those high levels of infinite love. So the ego, my ego, combined with everyone else's ego, will orchestrate so as to prevent, you know, uh, the entering of the light. So those are the ways to um, heavy prayer, heavy joining groups, which are specialized in the area in which you're weak, and you know you're weak, whether it's alcohol or food, um, heavy prayer. Uh, if you've got mentors, sponsors in programs, or spiritual, eight, of course, the miracle groups or mentors, I, I do recommend come to the groups because the group energy, when two or more are gathered in the name of the divine, great powers in those groups, more than you are on your own in your room and in the darkness. So um, not try not to leave the, the blessing of the infinite presence of those who, who come together in, in, in God's name. And um, uh, what else to defend yourself? Um, in terms of specialist stuff, if I know, um, uh, if you're um, the, the suicidal thoughts, which I did have, I mean, I, I would share the story, but I'll probably talk too long. It was a funny food story where I wanted to jump out of a window, but I'll share that another day. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, but um, yeah, suicidal means that the ego is now very, very strong. You're at the, as Hawkins would say, the bottom levels of consciousness where the 
whether the ego within and the collective ego from without is now having very strong influence to either do things which are anti-life or uh, to your own life or to others' lives. So it means that very strong, uh, um, very strong spiritual work, prayer, joining groups, the Course of Miracles, 12-step uh, prayers, uh, just praying for intervention. As we say in the Course, I mean, you know, the ego, I mean, you don't, you don't really want to ask your ego to help you get out of the mess. You, you need divine support. So you want to ask God, Jesus, and all the, the saints in body and angels in body and out of body to come to your assistance as you're doing. So that's, that's the voice of the, of the infinite uh, reminding you to call on divine aid. You can't do it alone in your ego. Um, oh, just a quick note for those who seek enlightenment or uh, the work of Hawkins, Dr. David R. Hawkins, where he, he himself went to enlightenment. He was, of course, a miracles teacher. His works uh, showed the last levels, what's, what's called the subtle temptations. Subtle temptations are energies or things which are very, very subtle uh, and the various levels all the way up to the infinite light, 100% dissolution of the ego into the infinite. Um, and he talks in great depth about the temptations which are not commonly discussed for people who, who are at gross levels of ego. Okay, I'll stop.